Circle of Inflation, Golf Alpha X ray Uniform Charlie, request Circle of Inflation. Golf Alpha X ray Uniform Charlie, Duckford, good afternoon. Uh, you read the 5, the runway news is 06, report ready at Charlie, QH 1011. 06 and news, report of Charlie at QH 1011, Golf Uniform Charlie. Uh, Doug, so Classic Wings 9, request taxi for Charlie, uh, 40 minutes north, John Board. Classic Wings 9, Charlie for 06 Grass, the QNH 1011. 1011, Charlie 06 Grass, Classic 9. Classic 6, Charlie, ready for departure. 6 foot lined up on the grass. Line up, Mr. So in the tag box, we can't see can't see where we're going in a straight line, so we weave the nose from side to side. And we don't have a, any brakes, which is an unusual one. We've got the tail skid that digs into the ground. Right. So uh, we don't go too fast. I think your goggles have just gone behind your head there. Uh, classic wing eight, ready for taxi, 30 minutes to the north. Class Wings 8, uh, good afternoon again, it's Charlie for 06 Grass, QNH 1011. 1011, 06 Charlie, Class Wings 8. Well, I'm going to put the intercom off until we get airborne, Charlie, okay? Charlie, can you okay. confirm your destination for me, please? How about the head call? Go for from Charlie. Classic Wings 9, ready for departure. Classic 9, put one up the grass. Classic 9, okay. Golf Bravo Romeo, Romeo, Oscar Romeo, with that information. Good afternoon, how do you read? Classic Wings 9, grass, take your discretion, normally. Take my discretion on the grass, Classic Wings 9. Sir, thanks for the grass bar, if I can do my mic at Classic Wings Hangar. Taxi 4, Captain, to board. Go for the India, Mike, Mike, good afternoon, Glenn, and uh, you read the Bussy 5, it's uh, 06 in use, report ready at Charlie, QNH 1011. Six minutes clear, ready at uh, Charlie 1011. Mike, Mike. Charlie holding it. Charlie, you ready for departure? Uniform Charlie, Roger, you taking the cross? Uh, go with Charlie, uh, yeah, I can do if you like. Oh, sorry, I yes, thought you used the other one. I've got a uniform Charlie there as well. Uh, Hotel Charlie, Portland, up hard, sorry. Portland, up hard, Hotel Charlie. Wings 8, ready for departure. Wings 8, put line up on the grass. Fighting up the grass, back to Wings 8. Class Wings 8, grass, take field discretion, novelly 8. Back to Wings 8. Four requesting taxi local to the north uh, west to all board. Closing four, good afternoon, Jan. It's a 06 and you still QNH 1011 to put at Charlie. Good oh, afternoon, Glenn Charlie for 061011. Closing four. Closing four, ready right. to taxi now. Hey, Glenn, closing four. Yeah, you just got a cub coming from the hangar, so if you uh, go now, you'll get in front of him. Closing four, please. Come on to Charlie, lined up. 
Right, so Charlie with the departing Martin site, take field discretion, normally at 7. Confused from Charlie at uh, 06, Charlie holding point, ready for departure. Confused from Charlie, take the grass. Hey, that's it, we take the grass, go for Charlie. Roger, put it up on the grass. Put it up, go for from Charlie. Okay, hello again, uh, Nick. Okay. Right, we are up at 1500 feet now, just to the north of Duxford. Uh, the weather's getting better, the visibility is getting 40, 50 miles, I reckon. Yeah, it's a lot better than I expected, actually. With the Where did you come from today? That's the Dolbeth, Harbourshire. Uh, oh, you said that, yes. Um, yeah, so we're just heading to the west at the moment. Uh, on the left-hand side, there's a, there's a hangar ahead of us in the field, which is the old airfield at Falmere. That was a satellite of Duxford in the, uh, in the wartime years. Oh, yeah, I've heard of Falmere before. Right, so let's have a go at flying the airplane together. If you'd like to hold the control column with me, uh, when we're flying along, the nose position is where we see it now, with the uh, horizon cutting through the windscreen about in that position. Okay. Uh, if we move the stick to the right, the right wing will go down, and we have a tiny bit of back pressure on the stick to stop the nose falling in a turn, and there we are in a nice level turn to the right. Okay. Stop, it, stop it turning, stick goes back to the left, the wings gently come level, and we relax a bit of back pressure, and there's the nose back where we started from. Same to the left, stick over to the left, left wing goes down, tiny bit of back pressure to make the, the, the wing generate some more lift in the turn, and there we are, in a nice level turn. And we'll just move it to the right now to get the wings level. Very, very smooth there, it's absolutely perfect tonight. That's very nice. And if I bring the stick back towards me like this, the nose will go up, and moving it forwards, the nose will go down, but very gently to avoid being on a roller coaster. Okay. So that's the principle, and that's where we start from on the nose position. Would you like to have a go? Uh, I'd love to. Right, I've got my hand away then, Nick, so you have control of the 1942 Tiger Moth. Just go along in a straight line for a while, just to get the feel of it. I have control. You have control? Yep. With the air being very still tonight, uh, naturally quite stable. Right, let's have a uh, go doing a left hand turn. So stick to the left. A little bit of back pressure just so the nose stays on that position. Uh, wings level again now. Roger, you may tow right across to the grass. Shall And let's try a right turn now, so they would stick over to the right. So you've got the idea now, you've got the hang of it. And straight ahead there. The, the town ahead of us is Royston. So, a 1940 training aeroplane, not designed to go anywhere fast, but it's a very good basic trainer for people going onto the Harvard and the Hurricane and the Spitfire. Roger. Are we flying at 60 knots? Uh, 65, yeah, about 70 miles an hour. Right. 75. It's uh, the same engine the chipmunk had in the uh, uh, Air Cadet uh, days. I didn't realise that. What year is it here, Charlie? Uh, 1942, this one. It's so clear, you can actually see London Canary Wharf. If you just turn to the left, uh, we can take it in a left turn. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep it going. Um, straight ahead now. 
Now if you look down just to the left of the nose, left of the windscreen on the horizon, you can just make out the towers at Canary Wharf. Wow. Which is about 45, 50 miles away. Nice and clear to the west there with the sunset over there. Beautiful. Now let's do another right turn then, Nick. We don't want to go too far that way and get too close to Stansted. Gatherings for uh, grass, runway takes for discretion, normally at five. Uh, grass taken off, that'd be cool. Looks like somebody's wedding marquee down on the field there. <laughs> it's always quite fun finding those or finding cricket matches in the summer. Right, level up. Yep, straight ahead here. So is this Royston, did you say? Uh, Royston, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I recognise the, uh, the bypass. So I might really good back. Might make port line up front of us. So we'll go on this direction for a while. We'll go up to the old airfield of Bassingbourne, which is where uh, the Memphis Bell aeroplane was based during the war. Gotcha. The yeah. B-17. I worked on uh, Full Metal Jacket, the film, and we filmed some of it there. Where again, sorry? I worked on Full Metal Jacket. Oh yeah, yeah. And we filmed some of it there. Are you involved in the film business, or? Uh, my father is, and I, I do a, a little bit of film work, but... Interesting, yeah. Wind here. The wind is coming from our right hand wing tip. Good afternoon, fast message. Good afternoon, Cessna 172 on board. Um, flight back to rain, current parked on the west of grass. Our request airfield information. Roger, port ready, holding point Charlie for 06, QNH 1011. Right, if we do a right one turn one again one now, Nick, about 20 one degrees one or so, 30 degrees. Over the solar farm one we one see one down one there. Take your discretion, normally at 7. And straight ahead there. Uh, Are you happy flying still? Uh, I am, yep. Traffic the airfield is a pair of Are you controlling the rudder? I've just got my feet on the rudder. Right. Have you, have you got your feet on there? Or put, uh, put, put, put them on there now. Okay. What we'll do first of all, let's get a bit more height. So, on the left hand side there's a lever. Can you see it moving? Yep. Put your hand on there, push it all the way forwards, and gently raise the nose. The left throttle all the way forwards, right the way, it goes quite a long way. And hold the nose in that position there. And we're going to climb a bit of it. We lost a bit of height there. Something information, Dr. Sulu at Charlie. Technically, for departure, I would like to have a please. Go for it. Okay, just lower the nose a tiny bit. And bring the throttle back. Quite a long way. We're going to have about 1900 RPM. Comes back a bit more, comes back a bit more, about, about there, that's fine, so we're back at 1100 feet now. And we're just coming up to Bassingbourne, which is on our, on the nose, you can see the buildings on the right hand side. Oh yeah, I recognise them. I'll, I'll talk about the rudder when we get past Bassingbourne. Yeah, Another Tiger Moth on the right hand side, just going over the dancing wall. Used, but I think it's used by the uh, the army. All right. Roger. Echo for short Yankees at uh, Holy Point Charlie. Would like to take the cross. We filmed two scenes there: uh, one the in Vietnam and one at Paris Island uh, Marine Training Corps. Interesting. Yeah. That was a few years ago, wasn't it? That film. It was. Yeah. yeah. In the eighties. Eighty-six. Right. Let me show you on the rudder. If I just take control a second. You have control. I'm just going to get the, the height's gone down again. So let's get a bit more height back.
Uh, when it was designed, it was an airplane, they, this airplane was, uh, they say, fairly easy to fly, but quite hard to fly it well. And I'll give you a demonstration why. So if we get up to a thousand feet here, I'll just level off. Now if we take our hands and feet away, if you take your hands and feet off the controls, I'm going to move the control stick to the to the left, okay? I've got my feet away. Stick going to the left, look at the nose going the wrong way. Right. And if I do the same here, I'm going to move the control stick to the right, look at the nose. It doesn't want to turn. Right. So it basically means it's got to have the rudder to initiate the turn. Uh, and that's the way it was designed to be a very good coordination machine. Now let's get a bit more height and we'll do that one again. It's a thing called adverse yaw, and the ailerons create that when they, they make more lift. Right. Now let's get a little bit more height. So it's quite a clever design, they does not try to design the airplane so it minimises adverse yaw by having the ailerons on the wingtip moving different amounts. The, the downgoing one didn't go down very far, but the upgoing one would go a long way. Right, if you take control again there, Nick. Okay, feet on the pedals. I have control. You have control, right. So let's do a little turn to the left. So stick to the left, and a bit of left rudder. That's the idea. And wings level again. Now, straight in front of you, there's an instrument which will be letter L and R on it, left and right. There's a needle pointing vertically, saying side slip. Well, where is that needle at the moment? Is it out to the left a bit, or...? It's just slightly to the right. To the right, okay, they're obviously not working both correctly then, but... Now, if that needle's out to the right, you want a bit of right rudder. If it's out to the left, and a bit of left rudder. Okay. So squeeze the rudder pedal on the side where it is, and then we go through the airplane in a nice straight line. Ah, uh, gotcha. So let's try a right turn now. So stick to the right. A little bit of right rudder to get that needle pointing upwards. It needs quite a bit, I think, to uh, get that needle upwards. Yeah, it's all the way up. A bit more bank. A little bit of nose up. Is the needle pointing vertically? Uh, no, it's off to the right. So. Okay, press on the right pedal a bit harder. Okay, ah, uh, gotcha, yeah. There we go. And it feels better straight away. Ah, uh, gotcha, yeah. So we, 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 it stops us skidding through the air. So we, we don't want side slip, is it? No, we do not, no. no. We want it so it's pointing vertically upwards. Uh, at all times, preferably. Correct. Okay, I've got you. Okay, wings level again now. Yes, if we do a side slip, we... I'll just, I'll just push on one pedal. That's the side slip, and it feels like we're going through the air yeah. sideways. It's not the most pleasant. You have control again. I have control. So if the needle's out to the left, there's a bit of left rudder. How are you enjoying it? Enjoying it so far? Oh, fabulous. Well, we lost a bit of height again, so hand back on the throttle. Push it all the way forwards. A little bit of left rudder this time. And then raise the nose a little bit. The left rudder is required to compensate for the torque of the engine. Uh, okay. That's it, the nose just in that position there, that's lovely. A bit more left rudder. And nose a bit higher. Bit more left rudder. That's good. It's the cork full of air coming off the propeller hits the fuse large on one side, and so it stops it going in a straight line in the climb. So the rudder will compensate for that. So we'll keep it climbing up towards the cloud base. What's the cloud base today? Oh, 1,600 feet. What's the stall speed of this 
there, Grant? About 35 knots or so, it's quite slow. Right. So we'll level off here, so lower the nose. Power okay. back to about 1900 RPM. The lever comes back quite a long way. There we go, probably. So we're now we're up at 1500 feet now. Let's just go left about 20 degrees to keep away from Duxford. Straight ahead there. Desolation, Golf Golf Sulu, level 2000 feet 1011, well clear to the west and going back to Skywell on uh, 122705. Golf Golf Sulu, thanks for the visit, free call Skywell, bye bye. Thanks for your help, Mom, good day. That's it, six, turn in final with the grass. Crossing 606 six grass, land at discretion, surface wind 360 degrees, 10 knots. And so who is the other station? That's off Mike. Mike, well clear to the uh, east now, we'll see you later. Good night Mike, we'll just see you later. So Ducks is in our 2 o'clock position. Now let's go a bit more to the left again now, Nick, so we'll head over towards Cambridge direction. Are you happy flying still? I am happy. Good, good. Very happy. <laughs> okay, some people just like to have a, a short go, and others, if you're happy doing it, you um, Most people don't use the rudder anyway, because it's, uh, it can be quite uncomfortable if you're not using it properly, but you've got the hang of it. So we're heading for Cambridge now, we'll do that, so we'll go over this way. Colours on the wings blend in exactly with the field. Today, possibly through to the south west region. I'd like to fly through, possibly then join down with that. Crossing four, that's information. Thanks. Report on final for the fly through runway zero six. The QFBs one zero zero seven now, and uh, just let me know if it's into a left or a right hand circuit. That's all copy. The uh, report final will be a left hand circuit and uh, fly through. Massive house on the left, just down here. Something like something out of Dallas or something. Wow. <laughs> here, they'll just put the, put the left wing down and go round. Here in a minute. Oh, it's right beneath the wing. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll turn around it. Yeah, it's I, saw, I saw it before it crept on the wing. Out of keeping with the area. <laughs> Does look very different, doesn't it? Yeah, if you do a left hand, left hand turn now, you'll see it again. by the wingtip. And straight ahead this way. Just want the nose a little bit higher because we're just descending all the time. There we go. That's good. We're about a mile to line for the flight Crossing four, thanks for surface wind 360 degrees at 7 knots. Report left hand downwind. That's what we will go, Crossing four. Now, right turn again, now, Nick. We'll go back to the M11 motorway. Three miles east, uh, position, uh, yes, it's a good aeroplane to coordinate the rudder control. Most modern aeroplanes, you don't need to use the rudder at all. That's been designed out of it. Right. Exactly, yeah, that's right. It's just a case of balancing the amount of, amount of control stick and the amount of rudder to manoeuvre the aeroplane. The rudder is very powerful. 
Are you doing it fine? Thank you. Uh, on the right hand side, there's a lake over there. Can you see it now? Two o'clock. Okay. Let's head for that lake. And we'll go there and go around the back, back of the south of Duxford. On the left hand wing of his Cambridge. So the wind is on our left hand wing now, so we're drifting. Uh, it's, it's causing us to drift towards Duxford like a like a boat going over the water. Okay. With, with the tide. Fire, taxi, Hold point Charlie for your power checks from way 06 The is If we take a right turn now, uh, Nick, and we'll go about, uh, keep turning until I say stop. Oh, a very nice coordinated turn. And straight ahead there. If the rudder is not used, it feels most uncomfortable in the turn. But that is nice. I'm just going to make a radio call. Report final for the grass, there's one ahead to the Harvard, left base to land on the grass. Okay, Duxford Wind. Uh, Duxford Wind is nine, we're about three miles northeast to uh, position to the east of Duxford Village to join downwind for a flyby. So there's two states at once there, class wing four, runway 06 grass, standard discretion, surface wind 360 degrees, seven knots. Four degrees. Thank you. Class wing six. Charlie from 06, Wicked and H is 1011. 1011, Charlie, Wind's 9 is uh, about two miles northeast, routing east of the village to join downwind for a flyby. That's 9, thanks, report right hand downwind from 06, Security is 1007. 1007, okay, Classic 9. Are you happy flying still, Nick? I am. Be good. Now, Duxford's on the right hand side. Uh, on the, just ahead of the airplane is Duxford Village and a, a, an industrial estate beyond it. We're going to go round to the right of the industrial estate. Yeah, we're going to go to the left of the industrial estate and then turn right. Uh, Roger. And then we're going to do a fly pass down the runway. Uh, you, you fly around initially and I'll take over for the fly pass bit. Okay. Are we talking about the further industrial estate or this one? The, the big white one ahead of us on the 2 o'clock. Okay, two that one over there. We're going to go round, round the back of it. right turn now that avoids flying over that blue thing sticking up which is a, a gas venting station. Yeah, maybe Natural gas yeah, like over pressure point. point. Is it a right or a left turn out? There is a tight one to join right hand downwind for a fly through. Okay, we have right hand turn out. Come on Victor, thanks from the 06 car, take off at your discretion. Well, on the left hand side, that blue thing down there, so it's a gas venting station. Okay, oh, just go wings level now. Just maybe left a little bit, so we're going to go fly over the yeah, just left about, turn left about 15 degrees. We're going to go past the airfield and turn back towards it. Top of the traffic, line up, 
Dr. Cutter Wings 9, we're down in right hand for the flyby. Cutter Wings 6, 06 class, take off your discretion, surface wind 360 degrees, 8 knots. Things nine, report fine orders, one to depart the grass, and one on final to land on the grass. Nine, we'll right, if I take control just now, you have control. You've done about 35 minutes of flying there, brilliant. Fantastic. I've got a bit, a bit more height, and I'm going to be doing a fly pass over the runway. Okay, well, Things eight, when we do six grass, land at discretion, surface is 360 degrees, eight knots. That's it, uh, another Tiger Moth down there, so we're going to turn along, <coughs> fly over the airfield, and then come around in the big circle to land. If you look in the fields down here, you can see some of the old signs where the old airfield was. They, they, the, the grass runway was much bigger in its day, and then it had a ton concrete runway put down, and the, the hard standings were down in the fields on the right. Oh yeah. That's just north of the airfield, you can see the parts down there. Yeah, you can see that. Wings 9, finals, fly-by. Into a right-hand circuit. Hello Wings 9, thanks for reporting again with your right-hand downwind. The surface winds 360 degrees, 7 knots. Okay, classic 9. Three, request taxi local police flight with seven of them. Nothing three, that's Mason, really busy five, taxi Charlie 06 QNH 0811. Charlie Inbound for the hard if you want to do your power checks on the hard runway and report ready. You've got your company tight whilst it's just turning downwind. That's the industrial state we flew around earlier.
slowing down here, or turning into a headwind, and always hovering. Again, classic four requesting taxi, 30 minute flight to uh, local area to on board. Classic four, that's information, taxi holding point, uh, Charlie runway 06, can H1011. Uh, Charlie 061011, I'll uh, soon Downwind 06 right hands, the QFE 100. 